Hi, welcome to Blind Owl Outdoors. We hope you enjoy our channel. And if possible, could you please join our Patreon page? We really need your help. It's been a long, hard road. Thank you. Hi. Welcome to Blind Owl Outdoors. I'm outside with the lovely Mara Fee today. And we're having problems with our little grass trimmer thing. I adapted a new cutter for it. We lost our blade. So that should work really nice. Alright Murphy. Murphy wants to start it up. We're not getting a spark though is the thing I can I can figure. What you gotta do first you have to lock in the you have to turn on you have to turn on the switch you have to push this, pull this, and push that in all at the same time to lock this this down all the way. Okay, you have to lock the throttle on. Step one. Turn it on. Okay. Yeah, now push the red button in. You gotta do it all at the same time so it holds that back. That's the lock. <laughs> Takes two hands, huh? on. That's off now. On. And then that. And let it out slow. No, nope, put do it all over again. Not don't worry about the switch. Okay, push the red button in. Now let the front part out real slow and keep the button pushed in. No, you, you gotta you gotta push this in, push in and get it tight. Push the button in and then let, let this one here out real slow and it'll lock right there. Okay? If you can't do that, you can't restart the machine. Okay, push the button in. Now slowly let the front out but keep the button pushed in. They let the button go. Okay, now it's locked in. Okay, very simple, huh? Okay. I usually loosen the gas up cap up for just a second. Loosen that up. So then you get the other way. That, there you go that way. Sometimes you get a vacuum and the gas won't go up. I put fresh gas in it the other day. <laughs> Can't get it? No. My hand's all slippery. That might be part of the problem. Wait. We'll get a towel. I will use this one. You're still not going to be able to get it. Wait. Go get a towel, a little washcloth quick. That might be the problem. It might not be getting gas through that. It's got a little hole on it for a valve, relief valve, but I don't know how it got on so tight. Should never be that tight. Sometime today, huh? There we go. Okay, loosen that up just a little bit. Loosen it. Okay, now snug it back down tight, medium tight. That's good, that's good. Okay, next thing you have to do, you have to turn on the choke. Where's the choke? This one? No, that's the oil. Uh, the choke is a little lever right here. Ah, uh, that one. Okay, down is off. Mm. You got middle and choke on full. Okay. So turn the choke on. Very gentle. It's all plastic. Okay. Now you have to hold the hold the machine like this mm. and pull the starter rope. Uh, 
like this like that except a lot faster and a million times oh. this is my first time and once that's we're starting you It's just not getting a spark. I think there's a short somewhere in, somewhere in the handler. Keep pulling it, huh? You got it a thousand times. Okay. Well, well, step, step aside once. Step aside once. Go around this way. Put your hand on top of the motor there. Real good. Mm. Okay. This is how you do it here. <laughs> like nice and hard, okay? I'm a woman. Well, well then he won't. Then you'll, like th him. then you'll never get it started. Then that's how it has to go. All engines like are like that. Hold the hold the engine down good. A little faster, a little harder. But it should go after the first or second pull. I wish there was a little primer button on it. There's no primer button on the machine. This is a fake uh, Honda clone four stroke. It worked great when it ran. Yeah, it loosened up a little bit. There you go. Loosen up just a little more. Loosen it a little more. There you go. There you go. That's good. Huh? Just keep going on it. You feel gasoline or smell gasoline, tell me and we'll stop. Nice. Mosquitoes everywhere here. I got them all over my legs. Keep going. Let's take this off once. All right, try it again. We'll try it on. No, do just like that. Keep going. <laughs> I put it on a half choke once. Half? Half choke. Yep. I've even tried starter fluid and it doesn't do anything even with starter fluid. I've got a whole can of starter fluid from America. There's no such thing as starter fluid here. So I don't know what I don't know what uh, her friend her friend Perry did it. We gave it to him the one time. Within ten minutes, he had it running. He said there was too much oil in it, which is hilarious. But uh, the oil's just at the right level. And then they use it for quite a while. They said they took our blade off and gave us a string trimmer thing with no string. So I had to go buy a new a new blade for it. And then we use it we use it a. Uh, I don't know, several months ago in the dry season and again I couldn't get it started and then I went over and, and redid the the trigger, pull it again and then started and it started right up and then she ran it for a whole day until we, we only had a little bit of gas until she ran out of gas. Well, keep going, oh, you're doing good. I'm another tired. twenty or thirty another twenty or thirty times, maybe she'll just start she'll just start off running. Try it all the way off once. Okay, go ahead. But I'm not smelling gas at all, and I'm not, and it's not sputtering even the least little bit. So 
could be it could be the switch here too, but I don't think so. Go ahead. We've got two wires out here, a positive and a negative. Stop for a second. Wiggle these around a little bit. Try one more time. Try, no, try, try the wires one more time. It's electric. Yeah, that's the electric part. Huh? Try it one more time. <laughs> Just wiggle it on. You're nice and you're nice and grounded here. You're in the water here. Can you kind of unplug them or not? They can't. Huh? To do it. <laughs> He's such a coward with electricity. Try one more time. Ever since the first electric pen, and she didn't want to do anything. So we could probably just go buy another gener another another cutter. They're only seventy dollars or whatever. We just don't have the extra money right now. And a good one, a good one, a uh, uh, fake Chinese steel, they're they're three hundred and fifty dollars. That's what our friend Philip has. His, his works really good for him. Honey, you're breaking a sweat here in the humidity. Yeah. Hey, you got a little sweat on your chest. <laughs> I try again because. Yeah, I've done this five times and I haven't been able to get it to go. You need faster. Or? Yeah, fast and hard, hon. Fast and hard. Boom, 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 boom. Keep going. You got it. You got it. Another ten. Another ten or twelve. You got it. I can. I can feel it running already. No, I feel poopy. I feel it ready already. It's ready to go. But I think the new the new cutter I got is really going to work nice because the blade the blade is really cuts good. But the blade every time you touch anything, it you know it catches so bad. Like especially like the cement. This one here is made for for cleaning the edge of cement and stuff like that because it's, it's wire wire bristle sticking out. It's not the one I ordered. The one I ordered was supposed to be three inches longer than that, bigger around. I had to drill a hole and adapt that one. But That's the carburetor behind that thing. Oh. But see, if you have this here, look at this here. Push, push that in, and pop the black piece off. Yeah. Two hands on two hands. Push in with one and pull the black piece off. Like that. Push it down. Like that. And there you go. Now take uh -huh. this up like this. Uh -huh. Okay. Here's the carburetor here, and the, the choke lever's down, so it's wide open. And the choke lever, choke lever's all the way up, but the, the hole's completely covered. Now, I've, I've gone like this and sprayed starter fluid in there and still don't even get a sputter out of it. So, it's not getting a spark, I can tell you that right now. I right, put this back on. Those two, those two things go in those two holes there. It'd be real gentle. Everything's cheap, cheap plastic. Behind this little square is the, is the spark plug. Don't take that off. I, already, I looked at that the other day. It all seems to be fine. But it's just not getting a spark. <laughs> I think you almost got it that time. Did you hear it sputter? To buy it? Three thousand pesos, three thousand two hundred pesos, seventy-five dollars. I sent you a um, YouTube channel. Yeah, I laughed at that. It's 
it's the same? Probably, yeah. I didn't hear any prices, but... Huh? Huh? Yeah, there you go. Because they already haven't put together, but they're not here, though. It's in Manila. Yeah. So that doesn't do us any good. They'll deliver us. They'll deliver to you in a box, and you got to put it all together like this. This one here comes in a box, and it was 3000 something. I'll look them back up Did again you on this. Did you put it together? Huh? Did you... Um... Was I the one that assembled it? Oh, I see. Did you assemble it? Did you assemble it? I'm asking, I'm asking you. you. Did you assemble it? Then, then I must have had, didn't I? That's why I'm asking you. I know you didn't. We'll try other. No, I was just going to get a different shot of you pulling if you're standing up. They've been hanging out through the whole thing and I can't control that. <coughs> One more time. So if it's working, then it's working three it's poles and it starts right up. I like to do that. I like to yeah. try. I pull one. I give it one pole before I turn it on. Turn it on. Then I turn it on, and it's usually two poles and it starts right up. Uh -huh. That's what it's supposed to work. How it's supposed to work. Same thing with the chainsaw. This is a four-stroke too. The, I think I actually like the two-stroke ones better. The, What's the difference? Though? So the engine goes around twice as many times with the, the four? with the two, but it goes but it goes much faster and it's much easier to start. And they usually have a primer button and usually you turn the choke on, pull it two times and a sputter, turn the choke off, pull it one time and it starts right up just like a chainsaw. Mm -hmm. Well this one's messed up. This one this one didn't work very good from the very very first when we very first got this, I started up, it ran great. But as soon as you let it off wide open on the throttle, it would just die. And we did that for a long time. But then, and then you couldn't get it started again. That's why I think there's something wrong in the, in the handle. And then Perry took it and he, he took some oil out of it or something. He got it running and he got it so it, was, it kept running too at idle, which was pretty nice. And we used it a couple times after that. And then the next time we used it, I couldn't get it started, but then it did start. And since then, we haven't been able to get it going. Mitt Murphy ran it out of gas, and then we haven't been able to get it going since then. <gasps> Those dogs chewed up the thing there, huh? Little bastards. Yeah. Oh. That's a good exercise. Yeah, it's a good exercise for one arm, yeah. So we'll do this. Oh. How are you going to hold the machine down? There you go. Go ahead. Show us how to do it that way. Show us how to do it left handed. <laughs> there you go. Now you're cruising. That arm should that, that arm should last for about thirty seconds, but go ahead. Smells gas. Smell gas? Yeah. Well that's good. That means maybe the gas is flowing though. Go ahead, try it again. <gasps> Give up? Yeah. I guess Perry's going to look at it again or something. We'll see if he can get it going. He'll probably get it going in 30 seconds. Yeah. We're doing something wrong. I'm going through the proper the proper starting sequence, but we're not getting a spark. And I think before these black these red and black wires weren't sticking out. These are out from the last time you here. That's why I'm thinking maybe there's a short here somewhere. Or in here. 
couple screws on here. I guess I could take it apart. I hate taking things apart though because they don't usually go back together except with springs and stuff. Pull, pull on it once. Try to try to try to wiggle it. Hold right here and hold right here and wiggle it and take it apart once. There's no electricity while it's not running her. She's such a coward with electricity. Kind of twist it a little bit and see if you can see if it'll come apart. No? Red's positive. Black's negative. Red's red's where the power is at. So look out! It's got power on that one. Oh my god. But there's there's a problem somewhere on it. It's not it's not getting a spark, that's the whole problem. Yeah. Put that snug again, turn that a little tighter. This yeah. I'm going to put it back in the house. Alright, I guess that's all we got for right this second. Murphy gave it the college try. She wanted to show me up. Which is fine with me. I would like to see, see her start cutting some stuff. I want to try out that new the new end on it. So you think it's nice? Well, it's just it won't, it won't you know how the, the blade, when you use the blade and you, you get by a rock or something, it just jumps and makes a spark? Uh, this won't do that. that. Those are slightly flexible. Yeah. yeah. But it's supposed to be, it's supposed to have a plate this this big around on it. Uh, and these are supposed to stick way out to here. But of course they sent me the wrong one. It, it, it Lazada, you can't believe anything when you buy anything. It's supposed to have a hole that big in the center of it. It's got a whole teeny hole, so I had to drill the hole out to get it uh, to fit on there. So we'll see if it'll even work. If my hole is true, it should be nice and thing. But it's off just a little bit; it'll vibrate real bad. We'll just have to try it. Get your grab your towel and let's sign off here, and I'll put it away. It's, I think it's time. Sorry, five after five o'clock. It's time for dinner, so maybe we'll get some rice, huh? I'm sweating. I'll see you later. You what? I'm sweat. Yeah. Oh, they're gonna, they're gonna. Oh my goodness. Huh. Smell it. Smell it. Why would I want to smell your sweat? Oh, I'll lick it off if you want me to. It's what does sweat taste like? Salt. Yeah, salty, yeah. Salty. Yours tastes like lotion. Mm. Half the stuff you're pumping out of your pores is lotion. But that's beside the point. Yeah, I smell gas now too. So we're getting gas, but we're not getting a spark. All right, that's all we got now. Take care, everybody. We'll see you later. From Bohol in the Philippines. Thank you so much for watching. God bless. Take care. Have a great day. And enjoy life. Thanks for watching. Take care.